Wonderful people, viewers and subscribers, and welcome back again. This is BVI Channel 1, where we tell you undiluted truth. Me, as an advocate for good governance, I want to swiftly and quickly, very briefly, respond to the Nigerian police with what I will call a threat to Nigerians whom they say want to stop the inauguration of next week. Today we are here to provide an update on the security plan de developed by the Nigeria Police Force and other security agencies for the 2023 presidential inauguration ceremony. The inauguration is scheduled to take place on Monday, May 29, 2023 at the Eagle Square in the Federal Capital Territory of Abuja. Since the conclusion of the 2023 general elections and the announcement of the president-elect, security has been beefed up throughout the country. We have found specific plans for the inauguration ceremony as contained in the operation order, which will provide enhanced protection while allowing invited guests, well-meaning Nigerians, and international community to witness the laudable event. We work hand in hand and in collaboration with all, at, with all levels of government, private sectors, the Nigerian Armed Forces, and other security agencies to ensure the safety and security of all citizens. And having a laudable and seamless inauguration ceremony on May 29, 2023. The Nigerian Police Force is mobilizing its operatives to provide a comprehensive security arrangement. Adequate personnel have been detailed to protect the following areas, including the presidential villa, security at and around the Eagle Square, to man all the Nigerian borders, seaports, and airports, while others will equally be deployed to man the entry and exit points of, of the federal capital territory, Abuja, and other critical government installations. In view of the above, the Nigeria police hereby warns Nigerians who do not have any business around the vicinity during the ceremony to stay clear as security measures are in place to ensure sanity and orderliness. He also reminds good citizens of Nigeria to report any suspicious activity or persons to the police or other relevant security agencies. The police, therefore, wants non-state actors or any aggrieved groups or individuals to please follow due process and the rule of law in seeking redress in their cases as the law enforcement agencies will not hesitate to subdue any confrontational act or any act of insecurity before, during, and immediately after the presidential inauguration. Good. You heard it from them. One thing that struck a bell is that they said they have beefed up security since after the election of 2023. They have beefed up, and the president select announced they have beefed up security around Nigeria, including Abuja, where the inauguration will be taking place. I want to ask police since after the election, in fact, prior to the election, crime reduced by almost 70% across Nigeria. Before the election, oh, because all the criminals have gone on leave. All the criminals, the bandits, the kidnappers, Boko Haram, or non government, just name it, went on holidays, sabbatical leave. And immediately after the election, boom, every one of them have resumed their normal business activities. And I asked Nigerian police, how far 
You say you have beefed up security across Nigeria. If you have said you have beefed up security across um, FCT and perhaps Ego Square, that could be understandable. But I can tell you, Nigeria is becoming more unsafe since after the election than before the election. So the issue of telling Nigerians you are going to do this on this um, uh, grandstanding, whereas we know that Nigerian police have monumentally failed in their duty to protect Nigerians. In fact, Nigerians are now becoming more afraid of police than criminals. That is the simple truth. Whether you like to believe it or not, go out there on the street. That doesn't mean there are no good police personnel. But I can tell you, the bad eggs in Nigerian police force are far greater than the good ones. And I can tell you, it starts from the head. The corruption in the system is from the head. Now, from the head of the fish, it starts to the rotten. I can tell you that. So, leave all this grandstanding and focus your energy on protecting Nigerians rather than protecting an illegitimate government that is about to be imposed upon Nigerians. I don't blame you. You are doing your work. You are doing your work. You are, telling, you are saying what we are being told to be said, but I can assure you, you see this pit you people are digging. Every one of you will fall inside. You see this chaos you are helping to establish in the name of a government. Every one of us, every, including you and I, nobody in exception, we are going to have a, our bite of it. Every one of us. You are a police officer today. You are in office today. Tomorrow you will retire and you will move. What you did today, your children must take part of it every one of us so that is why as an advocate for good governance i speak not just because i want to speak i speak for the benefit of all including yourself because some of you are slaves to your own works some of you are slaves to the work you have been commissioned to do because the system is corrupt that is just my response to you and i hope some of you will start retracing your steps before it is too late because it will eventually consume you no one touches fire and doesn't get consumed that is just my own take and my response to the police force beginning from the igp to the least one of you including the nigerian army and other security architecture do what is right or else we all will go down for it. I'm also Chilad Peters. I am not a promoter of anarchy. I am an advocate for good governance. And I can tell you, any government that failed to protect the lives and properties of these people have failed monumentally. And Bugari will be on record, he's already on record, as the worst president Nigeria have ever had. And what is worse if there is any English than this? Or any word called Worcester, Tinibu will be that president. That when we look at him, we say Bugari was actually good. Bye bye for now. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Drop a comment. I want to have your opinion on this.